Hey everyone and a what's up welcome to this new video in this video we are gonna be cover up the main topics I mean a uh, main overview uh, that we are gonna be cover for the front-end development course so keep an eye on our video so don't go anywhere let's get started So I already made a slide for you and this is gonna be our first slide. So in this second slide we are gonna be cover up the sections number three that was HTML get started. So in the sections we are gonna be cover first one is the overview and the second one is that HTML history and third one is that what is HTML5 and CSS3. Fourth is structure of an HTML document and fifth is course projects that in you know, our front -end development course which course project we are gonna have okay so then third slide so first of all we have to know that what is the HTML history okay so in left side we will indicate the year and the right side was the versions so year 1989 that Tim Berners-Lee invented WWW. That's men as invented. And 1991, the Tim Berners-Lee invented HTML5. I mean HTML. 1993, Deb Reddy drafted HTML Plus. 1995, HTML Working Group defined HTML 2.0. 1997, Double three C recommendations that HTML 3.2. 1999 W3C recommendations HTML 4.01. And 2000 that is W recommendation HTML 1.0. And 2008 that our version was that what WG HTML 5 first public draft. 2012 that what WG HTML5 believing standard and that year of 2040 that was that three WC recommendations HTML5 so 2016 W3C candidate recommendation HTML5.1 and after that 2017 and 2017 that recommendations uh, W3 recommendations HTML 5.1 second editions then later on the HTML 5.2 so this is the all about we have to know the HTML 5 history so after that we are going to cover what is HTML and CSS3 so in the slide number 4 that we are giving the sections of HTML 5 and CSS3 so we have to be know how to environment set up so previously I showed you that uh, how to install a Firefox developer software and then the internal setup for the text editor that was that at home. So second one, what is HTML? That HTML, uh, it is a form of that like a hypertext of Marple language. And third one is that structure of an HTML document. The fourth one is that how should you write your fast HTML program that you should create your web pages with HTML block pages using HTML element attributes image and some links okay our next slide is so the first one is that what is HTML HTML is a stand for hypertext of markup language I was previously say you and that it is described how the web pages should be structured using markup so mark up that the things including site with then code size okay and that HTML element are the building blocks of HTML pages that means uh, the building blocks like this I can show you that uh, anchor anchor with the markup like you will anchor with the slashing you will then anchor I mean bracket with that so this is the opening bracket and this is the ending bracket so this is this liking this are the same tag with the blocking of HTML pages okay 
and element are represented by tags so these tags this tags this tags are art can said uh, represent our elements okay and later on that HTML tags label pictures of contents such as heading paragraph table table and so on that means uh, this HTML tags uh, inside we are getting the content which is like a uh, heading can be like paragraph can be like table can be so this is like what I say in this sentence most HTML element follows the structure like opening tag name and content and ending tag name with a slash what was that I was previously said you that was first tag this is URL and ending tag this is and in this sections what we are seeing this all is content okay and the finally we are seeing the browsers do not display the HTML tags these tags are not showing the in browsers but use them to render the content of the page this content should be displayed on this on your desktop or mobile okay so next one of that uh, the part of the HTML what is HTML5? So the HTML5 is the latest version of Hyper Markup Language. The structure of the structure of a web page with Web 2.0. What is Web 2.0? This Web 2.0 is the extensions of original web, okay, which is 1.0. Which they didn't call it, they just call it is the web. The reason why they call web 2.0 is because they they wanted to focus on the content and not so much the building of the site so they have really simplified the element that you have used in html5 to be more programmable friendly okay now remember when you write an email you are not programming you just writing markup language so you are just writing the structure of a site but they have written it in a way where the element are easier for you to understand and easier for you to do right and it's not that html4 is more complicated than html5 okay so instead of having to write a deep with a class on it which will explain all these i mean okay they'll come out with the video tag and their audio tag because multimedia become a big things on the web in 2007 where apple came out with the iphone one that moment once you had a smartphone and you could watch video on there and later on it come up with a way to optimize smartphone also for tablet as well we are covering overview html history and the third one is that uh HTML5 and CSS3 and that also we have covered and fourth one is that structure of an HTML document and finally we, are, we have we have shown and finally you are gonna see the course project okay so let's get with the structure of an HTML document how should we build of our first HTML document so let's go so we should create a folder first that is my first block okay so I have write this in my folder my first block okay go to and at home okay and go to the file sections and click on new file and it will have your document and it will come up with your document file that is untitled you can name it as your you can name it as your document that uh, index index dot html 
okay you can give a name here but uh, when you have to create your website you have a index file okay that's why every developer write the index data html with the default name so i'm gonna be save before saving where you have to save so i'm saving in my desktop click on my first block and save it in here so look this is come up with the index html you have to customize your at home then you should launch your app how do you customize go to youtube and uh, you need to search for how to customize editor so i have already customized my at home so you can write uh, i'm writing html some code and i'm not writing the full code because it's come up with the uh, heading so I'm clicking on enter and it come up with the HTML structure so it's automatically come up look so this is I said previously that I, I was customized my atoms that's why it is come up in the full structure of the HTML so there is a lot of things you need to customize on atoms okay for different purpose and some things that so already the developers or programmers give you easily friendly text editor to you so here the main thing is that first known was that document is type HTML this is the doc type the first is indicated that your doc type was what is your doc type that HTML this is the first heading okay that is the HTML is length in directory directory LTR this is opening anchor and this is the closing anchor of HTML with slash inside of HTML there is uh, in this HTML element we have two main important uh, the tags that is head tag and body tag okay look this head tag is in closing by uh, slash head and body was enclosing by body so these two tags are most important in HTML structures okay in the head sections in the head tag uh, we are seeing some uh, meta character with the version of UTF and the title was also opening and closing so we need to write some of um, content so what are what should be your title so I'm giving like Facebook okay you can give anything so our title is Facebook and inside of this body tag what should we write I'm writing heading one heading one yeah and it's come up or what will be the heading heading is I'm giving welcome that is welcome to our welcome to our learn facts learn facts essays channel so I'm giving this is the content okay so this is our HTML document and this our title and this our heading and some content within it the next tax is you have to save this file save this file now it is set I mean view in browser until shows oh it's come up look our Facebook is come up here is a title Facebook title and we are giving heading welcome to our land practices channel that is come up okay so this is our HTML structure we are creating a HTML website and we are rendering in our browser and it shows our title that Facebook is indicated our title and this is the content of our heading enjoy so our next tax is that is course projects so this is a course project 
So first one with HTML5, we should have building that project structure of website. And second one is that CSS3, that is the project style of site we should have also. And third one, the bootstrap for we have also a project you are gonna be having instead of this course. And fourth one is the bonus content. There's uh, we are gonna be describe about the type is key and we are success like that. So hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helped you successful in the future. Thanks.